All right, y'all, I'm back. Funny thing, talking about the uh, my Page of Pentacles popsicle truck that's out here in my Oracle car. I had a knock on my door, so I had to cut the video short. Turns out it was my uh, my kid's best friend from a couple of houses down. Um, Want to know if she they can come out and play? But you know they've been chilling, they relaxing. You know, yesterday they did play, play with all their fireworks and ate good. They just chilling. So yeah, that's that's what that was about. So in case somebody's wondering why my car is already out, so I don't want to hear that. Uh, <clears throat> well, we didn't see you shuffle. <laughs> Well, he's still doing it. <laughs> Anywho, we got the outcome over here in case you didn't see part one. Outcome over here is uh the yo-yo. Page of Cups and three elevens. Outcome. And we got five 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 oh eight five two four five ten and eighteen. <clears throat> These are the angel numbers down here. At the top, we got the oracles. It's popsicle truck, page of pentacles, the dove temperance, bundle of sticks, nine of wands, the salt and pepper grind of the high priestess, and the family neighborhood council woman. Just a quick wrap up there. There's a uh, Sagittarius had to pay for some kids, possibly to an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, kid or kids. Or for earth sign children. Also, this person is very petty with money. <clears throat> very immature when it comes to money. Possibly stingy. Um, bundle of sticks and nine of wands. Could be a court battle. Could just be fighting over money. I'm also seeing this Sagittarius and an earth sign paying all this money to a high priestess. To stop a court case. Or to affect a court case. Possibly an upcoming battle in a court case. Earth sign and the Sagittarius is having work done. So they become victorious in the legal matter. We're going to get into that in a minute. Could be why this yo-yo, this emotional manipulation is out here. For those who are new to my channel. This is your first time. What I do, I read the angel numbers first. Then I go into the oracle message. If you don't want to stick around for the angel messages, that's fine. Fast forward through the video till you can get to the juicy parts. Okay? Okay. But I do these down here first. Then I go up there. Alright. 555. Angel number 555 tells of significant and necessary changes happening in your life that have been divinely inspired and guided. These changes will bring about long-awaited circumstances and results and will fully align you with the, your true divine life path or life purpose and soul mission. Angel number 555 is a message from your angels that it is time to let go of the old that is no longer positively serving you. Trust that they will be replaced with better, better shinier things. Release all doubts and fears and perceived obstacles. And if, feelings, if any feelings of fear or confusion arises, ask for support and guidance from your angels and higher sources. I say spirit. 508. Angel number 508 suggests that changes you have made in your life or are considering making will ensure that positive abundance and prosperity will freely flow. Ensuring that all you need, all your wants and needs are taken care of. This number 508 also tells you that making changes in regards how you derive and or earn an income will ensure future material and monetary success. This may involve changing your career, a promotion, new opportunities to expand your own business ideas. If you have been receiving intuitive messages and promptings and urges to begin your own spiritually based career, what are you waiting on? I say spirit. <clears throat> mm. Angel number 224 is a sign that your angels are sending you positive energies to boost your self-belief confidence, and self-esteem. The work, will, and effort you have contributed in the past has led to solid foundations and stability. 
and you are encouraged to trust yourself in your abilities and skills. This number also brings a message to believe in yourself and all of your gifts because you have a great deal of work ahead of you. Rest assured that you will have all that you need both within you materially to achieve success, personal fulfillment, or success and personal fulfillment. Your goals are worth working for. Have faith in yourself and in your divinely guided spiritual team and ask for their guidance and assistance. I show you spirit. 510. 510 is a message from your angels to be optimistic and enthusiastic about the changes you are making or considering. Wow. A lot of fives out there. And tens. Hmm. 510 also is also a message to use your initiative and personal tenacity when it comes to making choices that concern your own well-being and life path, as only you know your heart's true your true heart's desires. This number asks you to have a positive attitude about the changes taking place and trust that they will be leading you towards better in all ways. These changes will enhance and advance you along your spiritual path. I relate to that. That, that, I don't know if y'all can uh, resonate with that, but I, I resonate with them a lot. A whole, new, a whole bunch of new stuff been happening. Like I said, I ain't going to go into it. I was guided to keep it to myself. 18. It's card of love. Okay, there we go. I had to turn it in the right light. When you encounter angel number 18, it means you want to achieve success in your life. So be sure to reach the best heights of your life's goal. Be determined to the accomplish the objective and earn the rewards. The guardian angels are more concerned with the fruits of your complex work. Yes, it is. It's a method to my madness. I don't know. It is. I, never mind. It's a method to the madness. That's all I'm going to say. The guardian angels are more concerned with the fruit of your complex works. Hence, you will keep encountering different things that will be lining up in the quest for your success. Moreover, you have to be tactful and do your best in best with the natural skills you have. A ten spiritually paves the way for you to reach your goals. This number encourages you to keep your thoughts, mindset, and attitude positive. And focus your true wants and need as your thoughts are manifesting into the material world very quickly at the moment. If there are if there are aspects of your life that are not flowing as you would like, your angels are indicating that these coming changes will bring about free flowing and healing energies. I show you spirit. Okay. That was these were some good messages right here. Let's get into this right here. Hmm. I mean, I don't know what to say. I already gave away the sauce up here. Sagittarius and the Capricorn is in a bit of a pickle. Legal matters. When it comes to money. Page of Pentacles is also a small offer, so it's a earth sign trying to present an offer to a Sagittarius. Possibly a Sagittarius is holding a small amount of money over somebody's head or offering a small amount of money to an earth sign for some children or about some children. Somebody's definitely fighting over chump change. Don't know where it came from. I'm also seeing an earth sign and a fire sign mm. battling a high priestess that's about to take them to court for money old. What that's about. Maybe there's an air sign lawyer out here that's really a high priestess. I'm 
I'm also saying a lawyer doing work on their own case for a client. This lawyer good too. This lawyer possibly good at manipulation. I mean, it's come with the title, don't it? And I'm not saying manipulation in a bad sense, but manipulation and getting the truth out of a person. They have their own method to their madness as well. Hmm. I'm going to read these for y'all. You can put it together yourself. Popsicle truck. Page of Pentacles. To dream about an ice cream truck or owning an ice cream truck is a harbinger for self-discovery. You need to show your playful side. You are looking for balance in your life. If the ice cream truck pulled away and you didn't buy didn't get to buy one or you didn't get to buy, oh yeah if you didn't get to buy anything in your dream it is possible that you feel you have missed out on an opportunity in your waking life finally if you're eating an ice cream in your dream you may feel like life lacks sweetness at the present moment this could represent a person or a situation that feels good dropping everything off this could represent a person or a situation that feels good about dropping everything for them. Feeling of nostalgia from one's childhood or special time in one's life that made them feel like a kid again. Also, someone could be needing to uh, rediscover that childlike energy. Temperance. Yeah, Sagittarius, possibly you, you need to rediscover your playful side. Or an earth sign. You're missing it. You're missing the playful side to life. Hmm. Interesting. Temperance, the dove. The dove represents purity, gentleness, devotion, beauty, and faith. On an international level, a peace dove represents hope and peace. And that has resonated, resonated well across the vast majority of religions and cultures. White doves symbol, symbol is symbolic shit. White doves are symbolic of new beginnings, peace, fidelity, love, luck, and prosperity. Their release is a tradition that has been making ceremonies, rituals, and celebrations more powerful and meaningful for thousands of years. The symbol of a pure white dove transcends all cultures and traditions. Somebody is also possibly throwing a party. And somebody throwing a divorce party and releasing doves. What the hell? I want to be there. I'm 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 all for it. Somebody won a, a court battle as well, and they're having a party, a victory party. That's dopeness. Send me a plate. Bundle of sticks, nine of wands. Dreaming of sticks can also be a message about sticking to something or exploring a commitment. If the symbolism is more associated with the, with something sticky or the idea of sticking, then you are attempting new ways of thoughts, a new way of thought, head and or relating to hands or move feet. Somebody fighting. Somebody gonna get into a fight. Owe oh, some money. Physical fight. Don't use weapons. <laughs> oh my god keep all your hands head and feet to yourself uh, Sagittarius or earth sign or the air sign or Pisces <laughs> cancel keep y'all hands to yourself I'm fighting over no damn money sometimes a phallic symbol could represent a symbol of assertiveness. The stick can also be associated with a branch of a tree or the idea of breaking away from your roots. <sighs> Again, a parent don't want to let their child, adult child, grow up. This person wants to break away by any means. 
it's causing a, a, a battle, a fight. Not a physical fight, but somebody's holding on to their adult, adult child and don't want to let them grow up. Possibly using manipulation tactics to keep them bounded or binded to the home. Let them, let that fucking kid grow up. That's grown ass man and or woman. Let them grow up. You're afraid of being alone, so you don't want to release your adult child. I know who that's for, but that didn't kind of make me mad a little bit. Let that, let that, let that kid. It's not that you're afraid of this child getting out here in the world. You're afraid of being alone. Let that child grow up and get you some counseling. Nine of Wands in my deck symbolizes pending battle or victory over a battle. Guarding one's home and or family or valuables. A symbol of strength, power, authority, and social prestige. Somebody else could be jealous of an adult child receiving some type of uh, social prestige, notoriety. Possibly becoming more successful than their adult parents. Uh, you need help. There's an app for that. Salt and pepper, salt and pepper grinders, high priestess. Significance, duality, compatibility, masculine and feminine energies, yin and yang. Knowledge of working with both the light and dark properties. Dreams about salt and pepper shakers or grinder is an evidence of your willingness to accept new ideas and new concepts. Pause. And this is for somebody out here. True wisdom is knowing that your knowledge may have gaps in it. It makes you more accepting and more open to learn from other people. You see, true leaders are able to listen and take criticism. Anything opposite of that, you're a tyrant. You're not a dictator. You're not a leader. Okay? So somebody out there. You have a strong competitive side. You are a you are at a point where you are comfortable in acknowledging your vulnerabilities and feelings. This dream stands for humanity, wisdom, compassion, and you are seeking recognition, or you are seeking recognition, power, wealth, and fame. If it's in reverse. My high priestess, my high priestess card going reverse. That's what it means. That you are seeking recognition, power, wealth, and fame, not actual knowledge. Also, can be a symbol of religious and esoteric knowledge as well. Uh, friendly councilhood, friendly neighborhood councilwoman. Oh my braid out the way. Significance to dream of a lawyer or to dream of a need of having a lawyer it means that you are or will face financial problems it is possible that you have a profession that will not bring you expected earnings you are in a difficult situation because you don't know if you could continue doing this job or if you should continue doing this job or just leave it for good Go inside with the angel numbers about changes, career changes. Something to look into. The biggest problem you have are debts. Hmm. That you cannot pay back. One, because people that owe you are not giving you your money that you lend out. If you are having a trial soon, it is possible that you will not be happy with the outcome. You will be forced to make the final decision after it. Hush hey. hmm. Yeah. Earth sign and the Sagittarius is definitely in some legal issues with some money. Possibly getting sued for a fight or an argument. Possibly some type of destruction of property. That was done to another high priestess. It'd be the other way around as well. 
High Priest is symbolizing the Cancer or a Pisces. Could possibly be being sued or getting into a fight with a Sagittarius or an Earth sign because of um, destruction of property. This um, Cancer of Pisces is going to need a lawyer. So many things. So little time. Wands is also Leo, Aries, Sagittarius as well. So it could be four up to four people that's battling each other over money. Or could be going to court against each other over money. Small amount too. Small amount might be offered to not to go to court. Alright, I'm gonna wrap this up. Outcome. The yo yo, page of cups in 311. We're gonna do this one first. 311. This number symbolizes expansion and making your dreams come true. This angel number is announcing expansion that is gonna take place in your mind or in your life. Expansion could be a representation of idea, plans, projects, or plot or projects. It also can be in a representation of a family or a circle of friends. Expansion, family, circle of friends. Mm. Somebody's getting custody of some children. Possibly a Sagittarius or an Earth sign. One of them is getting custody of some children. That's why it's saying expansion here. Possibly getting married. Remarried again. After this divorce. Mm. 311. Angel number or 311 in numerology represents growth, change, and transformation. 311 is a number of development in every area of life, included but not limited to work, career, health, spirituality, personal finances, happiness, creativity, freedom of expression. I'm also seeing somebody going to court to get some money to get a come up. Hmm. This high priestess is going to. Uh, Suing, earth sign and a fire sign, or a come up, they're possibly going to win as well. Hmm. Over property. Dreaming about a yo-yo can mean that you are rebounding into some old habits that you had in the past. Maybe you're repeating things that you never thought you would. If they are bad, how did you give them up in the first the first time? It might be wise to use that same technique. <clears throat> hmm. Somebody repeating a vicious cycle. Or going to repeat a vicious cycle. Are you being emotionally manipulated into a vicious cycle? Uh, Cancer Pisces Scorpio. Somebody's emotionally, manip emotionally manipulating you back into a repeated cycle. To dream of a yo-yo represents feeling good, noticing a person or situation, doing what you want all the time. Somebody has control over a water sign. Mental control over a water sign. Could be a Sagittarius or an Earth sign. Leo, Aries, Sagittarius or... Water sign, you got mind control over one of these signs. Take it however it resonates, but that's what I'm seeing. Emotional manipulation over someone else. Also seeing somebody going to court to get a come up off a fire sign and an earth sign. Seeing somebody go all out on rituals being done. Also seeing a lawyer doing ritual for a client. Mm. Like I said, that rapper fire, I didn't got used to it coming now. You know, it was something new that started happening when I started doing a collective. And I it it, it was, wasn't painful, but it kind of was. I had to take breaks from it. Then I got kind of used to it. I guess that was my upgrade. Hmm. Anywho. Hmm. Noticing a person or situation doing what you want. Uh-huh. A trivial attitude towards something you are controlling or manipulating. Somebody doesn't care. 
long as they get what they want. Negative, negatively, negatively, thank you. Mm -hmm. A yo-yo may reflect your insensitive attitude towards manipulating others or other people or another person or playing with exploitation, not taking issues or, prob or problems serious enough. Emotion manipulation, ups and downs, stuck in a rut and repetitive actions. Yeah. Somebody's repeating the same tactic to emotionally manipulate someone else. Or trying to use emotional manipulation to get under somebody's skin. You're wasting your time. This person that's being emotionally manipulated, they're getting hip to it. And they're going to fight back. Where the fuck did this come from? I don't know, but I'm seeing it. You can have any of these signs in your chart. I really don't too much care about signs. But I just throw them out there so y'all can get a good idea of what it may be about or who it may be about. Anybody can, you know, have these signs in their chart. It doesn't really matter. I'm seeing the actions of people. Somebody is being emotionally manipulated, possibly out of money, possibly from children. Could be children emotionally manipulating a Sagittarius or an Earth sign. Take it how it resonate. Like I said, I see in the light. I don't want to be on here too long. Thank you, thank you, Spirit. I ain't finna be on here too long. But y'all can put y'all uh, situation together, the outcome. Somebody's going to receive custody of some children through man emotional manipulation. That's the expansion. Somebody also is going to win a court case or a battle over money to receive a come up also through manipulation. High priestess is going to take somebody to court over damages. Lawyer is doing work on a court case for their client for victory. Capricorn Taurus, Virgo, Sagittarius. It's possibly in some hot water over some money. They're going to have to go to court for it. Going to need a lawyer. Don't have money because they didn't spend all their money paying for fucking spell work. Okay. That's it. That's all there is. There isn't any more. <laughs> okay, I'm done. I hope y'all enjoyed this quick pick mini read. Um, I'm going to go post on my other uh, platform. Uh, I guess I'll talk to y'all later. This is the energies for the uh, rest of this week. Okay, y'all. TTYL. Bye, y'all.